Hello there, everybody. Uh, Dan Calloway again, and thanks for watching. Um, I'm coming to you from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. And uh, today I want to show you something that's really cool, it's really neat, that I learned from a good friend of mine. Been a friend of mine for many, many years, uh, and his nickname is Scripto Veritas. And um, what, he, what he has uh, shown me how to do is to take standard output from commands issued in the Linux terminal and pipe them directly into um, your favorite text editor with one simple simple command uh, appended or prepended rather to the uh, Linux command that you would normally issue in the command line interface. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, if you go into the terminal uh, there is a command um, that I have already issued and it's called find dot space max depth space one space dash type space f space and then pipe that out to sort now what this does is it searches through the files and folders on your system looking at a depth of only one uh, directory max depth of one uh, for anything that is a file type file f or f type file f and then it uh, takes the output of that command and pipes it out to the sort command which then sorts it in ascending order let me go ahead and issue this command and I'll show you what I'm talking about alright so if I issued the command what it did was it looked on my system and it looked for any file that began with a dot okay, in other words a hidden file it only looked one directory deep and uh, it found only files nothing else and then it sorted those files by file name in ascending order. So that's exactly what it did here. Uh, that's, that's well and good, uh, but what if you wanted to work with this particular output, but you didn't want to bother with taking this output, uh, sending it out to perhaps a file using the uh, command with the greater than symbol, which uh, takes that output and sends it to a file name and then pull it up in your text editor. But you want to do it all at one time. All right? You can do that and this is what uh, Scripto Veritas has shown me. Um, first of all, let's look at that find command and I'll show you the max depth uh, switch here. And so let's look under the man pages for uh, find and let's open that up and then let's search for max depth levels oh, didn't find it uh, let me quit let me try it again man find max depth oh I know what I did okay max depth levels and there it is and so what it does it descends at most level one so in, in other words we'll have uh, max depth dash one which means it only descends to a level of one which is a non-negative integer levels of directories below the start point okay so if I have tack max depth one that means or zero rather it means only apply the test and actions to the starting point themselves if I have one then it goes one level deep so that's what I did okay so let me get out of this and so this is the output that we have generated from this command right here now what I did was uh, what Scripto Veritas uh, told me to, that I needed to do rather uh, was to create a bash script and put that in my scripts folder uh, and the bash script will take the output of the find command and it will, when running that script, it will actually open up your favorite text editor and uh, apply the output of this command in that editor. All right. Uh, but you got to do a couple of things. You also have to create an alias to run the command. Okay. And so what I have done is I'm in the root home directory rather home data pioneer I've created a directory let me do an LSLH here it's called uh, eh, where is it uh, piping to Kate alright so let me change directory to piping to Kate 
And what I did was I just put everything in here. Uh, let me do an ls tag alh. Put everything in here that I've uh, have in different locations, so that I don't have to go looking for it in, in all those locations. I can just look for it here. Uh, what I did was I created in the dot alias uh, folder of my system under my home directory, which is where all my aliases are in the system. I created that alias that I'll show you here. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to get into that file right there. So I'm going to do a kate of dot alias. Okay, it's going to open up the directory uh, in uh, kate. Uh, let me come down. I think it's about line 95. Here we go. Um, created the stanza here called aliases for Kate Text Editor, and here's the alias. Alias is PTK, and what it does is it redirects to the Home Data Pioneer Scripts folder, which is where I told you I put the script, called pipe to kate.sh. Okay, so let me go ahead and close this. After I save that, uh, pipe to kate.sh is right here. And so what I want to do is open that up, and so I'm going to run kate against pipe uh, to kate dot sh. Let's open that up, take a look at it, and here's the script that I that Scripto Veritas provided me. It's a bash script, and it is pipe to kate dot sh, and it's script to automatically pipe command line output to the kate text editor. Okay. It's helpful if the bash script shell has a short alias to this script for the, I should say Kate, not uh, XED. I changed it, uh, which is dash I is start with input pipe to standard in, and this one here, which is to move the display to the top row, beginning of the man page, and so uh, it's dollar sign at pipe to Kate. TAC I, TAC L1. Okay? And so uh, I saved that and I saved it as pipe to kate.sh. And then I set the uh, executable on this file. It's actually uh, chmodded to 750 so that it's executable by the owner and the group owner of the file. All right? Which is data pioneer, data pioneer. And so that's why it's green here. It's an executable file, so it will execute when it's run. All right, and then the uh, command that I'm running is the one that I showed you initially. Okay, so to make this work, let me clear the screen. Uh, let me run that co find command again and show you the output. Um, okay, there it is. Now let me run it. And oh, I'm in the wrong directory. Excuse me. Give me out. Get out of that. Um, let me change directory to back to here. Okay. All right. So let's run the command again. And, and there it is. Okay. So the output from the start point, which was the home di home directory for me, here is looking for any dot file in the home directory, which is the data pioneer. I do a PWD for print working directory. It's home dot, uh, data pioneer, okay, right here. Uh, so it starts there and it descends uh, one directory deep, looking for any files, and then sorts those dot files out in alphabetical order. And that's what it did here. But let me show you that I can now, since I've created the uh, bash shell in the scripts folder and created the alias in the dot alias uh, directory that points to that. I can now do that in all one command. And so let me clear the screen. And so let me get back to that command again. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepend that command with PTK, which is the alias I created. PTK standing for pipe to Kate. So now if I run this command, it should take the output of this find command, which is that list that I showed you earlier and it should pipe it to the Kate uh, text editor automatically. Let's look at it and see if it does. And sure enough, there we go. All right, so it took the output of the uh, find command that ran in the terminal, and it pulled up the Kate, direct, the Kate editor and in, uh, you know pulled it right directly into the Kate editor. And so uh, this is exactly what we wanted to do.
Um, and so uh, looking for any file that has a dot in front of it, which is a hidden file. All right. So this has been a video on how to go about uh, piping output from the terminal directly into your favorite editor, in this case, Kate for me. Uh, and this was provided by my good friend, Scripto Veritas. So thanks, Scripto. We really appreciate it. And everybody, have a nice day.